the options that we have these days on the market for home grinders. Which one do you choose? There's so many choices. For me, there are a few criteria that I take a look at when finding a grinder, and I think with these king grinders, I have really found the king of value. So for me, what's important is price. Then it's gotta be something that's a little bit fun to use, and the result has gotta be good. So with that being said, let's just dive right in and take a look at the K4 and the K2 grinder by King Grinder. Now, I'm saying all of these things with the thought in mind that I've used before, the JX Pro by Easy Press the Time More Chestnut Nano, as well as the Normcore V2 grinder. All right, let's just dive right in. Let's talk about what they have in common before we start differentiating them. So they both have 48 millimeter burrs inside, which means that they're both going to be pretty quick at grinding. They also both come with the ability to remove the handle like that, and you can stick a power tool on there and you can grind that way. That is another convenient feature. They also both come with these bands on here and this band right here is super nice because it does not budge at all. So they both have this non-budging band which makes it really easy to hold on to while you're grinding. Another thing that they both share is the catch cup. And you need actually about four turns to get the catch cup off. I think that's something positive. This is more stable that way. You can see they are both pretty similar in size. The K4 is just a little bit taller than is the K2. They have a very similar diameter and the knobs are different, however. So this has got like a conical knob and this one has got a round knob. But the ergonomics, the haptics, there are a lot of things that are very similar between these two models. All right, you guys, now I wanna ask you if you're getting any value from this video at all, please give it a like to push it up to other people. And if you like to get tips and reviews on grinders like these, consider subscribing to the channel. Now let's talk about where they differentiate. And mainly two big factors. One is these 48 millimeter burrs are titanium coated, whereas these are stainless steel burrs inside. So these should be a little bit faster at grinding. They should also apparently be made more for espresso. Now I do find that when I'm grinding with this K4, it takes me about 70 to 80 turns to get through a 15, 16 gram dose, whereas the K2 does take closer to 90 or 100, so it does take slightly longer. The second thing that's different is how the grind is changed. You can see on the K4 that you have this really nice click system here, and that is just so delightful to use. You always know exactly where you're at. On the K2, on the other hand, you've got the adjustment here on the bottom. That is not quite as satisfying from a haptic standpoint, but it does work well, and you do have 40 clicks here on the dial. Something else I nearly forgot to mention that they both share is the tops. When you put the top lid on, there's something holding the lid here onto the grinder, which is great. And that is a rubber O-ring. So you can see this rubber O-ring right there helps for the lid to stay on while you're grinding. Perfect. One last thing to mention, here we got 40 clicks. Here we got 60 clicks per revolution. Each click on the K4 does 16 microns, whereas each click on the K2 is 18 microns. One last thing where these two differentiate is hopper volume. This one, the K4 has got slightly higher hopper volume than does the K2. All right, let's go ahead and start with the K2 and see how many beans fit in there. I got about 24 grams of beans in there and I should be able to still fit the top on. Yeah, let's say this one can do about 25 grams. Let's try out the big boy here. So the big boy can fit 32 grams. These are medium roast beans. All right, that's enough talking. Let's load this up with 16 grams, see how long it takes, pull a shot, and see how it tastes. And here we go. Now, what I will say about this K4 grinder is it's pretty easy to grind. I would compare it to the JX Pro they both had the same size spur at 48 millimeters. And I would say they, they both do a good job. 
This might be just slightly faster due to the titanium coating. And we are just about all ready through. There we go. Just a couple stragglers in there. Give it a good tap. Let's go ahead and load up our porta filter. That's what the grind looks like right there. And what I do like about the King Grinder as well is that the bean cup seems to be coated with something that does make the grounds kind of slip out better. So that's nice. All right, let's go ahead and see what that shot looks like. A little fine. Should start flowing a little bit better pretty soon here. Nice and gooey. Ooh. There you go. All right, so that one is a little fine. However, all I have to do is open it up by maybe one or two clicks and I will be right on pace. Okay. So that's what that shot looks like right there from the K4. And that was at 60 clicks there. I probably should open it up to about 62 clicks next time. And how's the taste? Very, very good mouth feel. It's got some sweetness to it, but it is a bit bitter because it, it did run a bit long. But it does provide a very nice grind for espresso. Let's move on to the K2. Now let's do the K2. And I think this provides excellent value for the money. So that is the main advantage of the K2 is excellent price and quite a good quality with just the consequence that you have to adjust the grind down below. Now what I find is we're at starting at six and a half and we're closed all the way. If I open it up one full revolution, that seems to be the hot ticket right there. One full revolution gets me in a good spot for espresso. 16 grams. Let's go. I wouldn't say that this one is more difficult than the K4. It's actually quite similar in the amount of strength required. Let's tap that off a little bit. Tap, 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 tap. That's pretty clean. Do our WD teen. All right, here we go. The K2 grinder at one full revolution around or 40 clicks. No, it's a little too fast. And there's our 32 grams right there. So that's gonna need a little bit more adjustment. Well, anyway, that's how that shot looks right there. Good mouthfeel. I actually prefer this one a little bit more to the first one because it didn't run as long, so it's less bitter. It's actually a little bit more acidic. Neither one was just right yet, but that just has to do with the dialing in process. I do want to say a couple of words about using a power tool. Okay, I've got this handy dandy Milwaukee power tool right here. Uh, I love this drill, it's really strong, but I don't like using it for grinding. The reason is because when you're putting the beans in there and if you start grinding, you have to hit a certain torque. And if you don't hit that torque, you'll just stop the movement and it ends up taking too long. 
On the other hand, if you go too fast, then you end up like springing the beans up in the hopper, I believe, because it takes actually longer than hand grinding. So it seems to me that there is a certain speed for which this grinder was designed and for which the weight of the beans is ideal. And that seems to be about two revolutions per second. And I can do that very well with my hand. It's not that easy to do here. I will show you that now. So that was just a handful of beans and you can see that the it's just not that easy to get just the right torque and just the right speed that's ideal for the grinder and that's not the grinder's fault i think that has more to do with the drill itself and it's not that satisfying so when i'm using the drill it takes me just about as long as doing it by hand and so i might as well just do it by hand Alright guys, so what do I have to say about the K4 and the K2? They are both lovely grinders and I think that you would be really happy with either one for the price. For me, I don't need to do a whole lot more experimenting. These for me are really the kings of value. This one for the external adjustment and this one just for the price and for the quality that you get, I don't think it can be beat for that price. If I had to choose one though, I would choose the K4 because I just have a lot more fun doing the adjustments up here. I like the clicking sound. I like those ergonomics better. Take it for what you will. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if so, drop a like, check out my other videos. If you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And until next time, I say happy coffee drinking and happy espresso drinking. Bye now.